Hey everybody, I uh, wanted to make a little video of where I'm recording currently, um, what I have right now, what I'm hoping to keep if my Kickstarter is successful, and most importantly what I might do if it is successful. Uh, so I'm at the top of the stairs to my second floor which is basically just my attic. Um, I live in a little ranch house and so here is the finished section of it. Um, you'll see as I come in here, this first area here used to be a little more open but I hung up this uh, blanket right here in the middle of the room because it is way cheaper than buying soundproofing which is really expensive. Uh, this blanket was four dollars at Salvation Army so I figured I'd go ahead and try that out. Um, you go back behind here you can see I have my extremely uh, messy and artistic uh, little area. There's my drums. It has uh, mostly SM57s on the snares and toms. A uh, sure kick mic that I really, really, really love um, on, the, on the kick. And then I have a really extremely cheap, like I bought it for, you would think I had robbed Guitar Center based on how little they sold it to me for. I think it was somewhere between like 20 and $40 for two mics, one of them which is one of these little pencil condensers. It's a Sterling. A lot of people talk uh, smack about Sterling. This is a really good overhead mic. I really like it. And then I use, um, what I'm currently using is a vocal mic, which is another Sterling that came in the same pack for the same amount. Oh, there it is right there. And I use that for the uh, other overhead to get sort of a stereo effect. I'm not a huge fan of stereo drums, but I've been trying it recently and really liking it. You get a lot of phasing issues a lot of times when you don't do it right, but I found a way that it actually sounds really good, so I'm happy with it. Um, here you can see pedal board. Well, I think you can see it. I'm not sure. And you can see my uh, Orange Crush uh, combo amp right there. I love it. It is a solid state, but I've played recordings of it for people and told them it was a tube, and they uh, didn't question it. They they thought it was a tube. And then afterwards, they said, hey, it's actually not. It's a solid state, and they were very shocked. Um, so I'm very proud that I have uh, that amp. It's a really great guitar sound. I use it with Grasso Brothers, uh, Grunge Rock Review, too, and it's just a big hit. Um, and you can see, like, this whole area here is a lot more condensed, it's really helped with the drum sound in particular. The drums, I was constantly getting this, the room is too big and there's a little bit too much bouncing around sound. And if you totally soundproof the room, then you get this really dead sound. So what I did instead is I hung up this other uh, um, uh, blanket here. I spent a little more than $4 on that. I spent $4.50. So I uh, hung that in the corner because corners are just like your enemy when you're trying to record. Corners screw up your sound totally. They eat up all the low end and that's done a really good job of uh, helping to make that work. You can see that windows are not your friend either. So I spent $3 each. I have two big sets of windows and I bought $3 blankets. I think those were at Goodwill though. I know they're a for-profit, sorry. Uh, they were just too good of a price. And so I bought those there, and those have done a really good job of just making the windows not my enemy. You can see there's one behind me too, but it's kind of hard to see with the light. Um, you can see here I have my interface. This interface is currently uh, one that, that I purchased, but I'm going to return it if the Kickstarter is not successful, because if the Kickstarter is not successful, I, I'm not going to be able to afford it, which is fine. What happens, happens. But if you want me to keep this wonderful 8-8 um, eight, eight audio analog channel recording interface that makes it so I can record my drums properly, well, I would be your best friend. Um, all of your best friends. And uh, the other thing I have here is I have my system here, which I'm going to, if the Kickstarter is successful, add a couple things to it. One, I'm going to add a copy of Pro Tools 12. I've decided on Pro Tools 12. One, because I just love the interface. There's a lot of Pro Tools and Avitators out there to each their own. Um, I'm going with it because I get an educator discount and I really like the interface. It's done a lot of great things for me. And I'm currently right now using Pro Tools First, which is a free version of the software. It has a lot of limitations, but it's really gotten me a couple good tracks that sound really good. And it's been really nice to, to, to just try some of the new features of it. And so if the Kickstarter is successful, I'm going to upgrade Pro Tools first to Pro Tools 12. And then I'm going to master everything using Isotope Ozone 8, which is another um, software that I can get a pretty good deal on. And if you've ever used Ozone 8, wow, it's really, really wonderful. And takes your final mixes and just gives them a little bit of what you need without... Um, and. <laughs> 
I like using automated mastering sometimes, but it's just I found too hard to really get exactly what you want and to avoid um, totally just blaring the whole thing out, to avoid over compressing it, to avoid making it sound like those modern pop songs that you can't even listen to for more than five minutes, not because the songs are bad, but because the recordings just cause a lot of ear fatigue. Everything's mastered to be very, very, very loud, but not necessarily to be very, very good. And so using uh, Isotope Ozone, I can go ahead and do that. Um, so I hope you enjoyed seeing my very messy recording studio. It's been doing very well um, for me so far, but you know, I still need a few things that I want to, that, that I want to do to really make it the best I can. And um, yeah, any help you can give is great. And any help you can't give uh, is cool too. Uh, you know me, I'm modest sometimes, except when I need to say that I'm awesome. All right. Thanks, guys. Talk to you later.